Hey everybody, it's Stacy with As A Tea Brews. Today I have an empties video for you. Now I have a whole lot of empties, so I'll probably go kind of quickly through them. If you have any extra questions, you can leave them in the comments below. But I've got this box, which I usually put my empties in. And then I have an overflow box, basket, um, right here. <clears throat> so I've got lots of tins. I'm working on a video talking about clearing up some space and using trying teas that I've kind of been holding on to for a long time. And so watch for that, but that one's kind of like a work in progress video. Um, but I am just in short, I am, I have a lot of teas that I kind of have had for a while and I hold on to for one reason or another. So right now I'm either trying to use them up or revisit them to see if I still want to hold on to them, if I still really like them or not. So this is kind of a result of that. Plus, I think I still have empties in here from my advent calendar um, in December, which I finally got through the Plum Deluxe one, um, and we loved 99% of those teas. There was only one or two that we didn't love. And then I still actually have, and I keep forgetting about it, but I still have a ton of teas left in my David's Tea advent calendar. December was just busy with activities and everything, and I just did not get through them all. But I think some of those are in here. January and February empties. Okay, so let's get started. I'll start with tins because those are um, big and kind of easy to just get out of the way. All right, um, so here is this one. Now this is um, in a David's Tea tin. <laughs> I tend to reuse those a lot. Do you guys do that too? Um, this is again Maita from Tea Runners. And this was a nice skin matcha. I kind of feel like, like most of them are kind of the same. Like it doesn't really matter the brand usually. I tend to like them pretty much the same. Um, I currently still have some in tea bag form. Um, so I don't really need to repurchase a good matcha right now, but um, in the future I will because I really enjoy that type of tea. And that's like the toasted rice with the green tea. This one is Peppermint Patty Push. And this is from Steep Me A Cup of Tea. And they are in um, North Dakota, I believe. And I love this tea so much. Um, I looked at their website and they don't, they have just a peppermint patty. I don't, this one was called Peppermint Patty Push. So I'll have to figure out if that's the same one or not. But um, this was a really delicious dark tea with um, chocolate and mint. And I love that tea. Okay, this is Cinnamon Bun Chai from David's Tea, and I really love this tea. This would be one of my top favorites, but they don't offer it right now. I really hope they make this one again because I absolutely love this tea. The next one is Salted Caramel Oolong from David's Tea, and this one was really nice also. Um, it's kind of a, a sweet, caramely oolong, and it was really delicious, steeped up four minutes was just perfect for me. I think I talked about that in another video. Okay, and I have, it's gonna be going back and forth between all the different brands here. This is an Old Barrel Tea Company, Pecan Pie, and this one is a Pu'er. Now they have a lot of Pu'ers. They have several Pu'ers that I really enjoy, and I did like this one, but it's not my ultimate favorite from them. So I'm actually, Oh, I have a pot of tea that I'm supposed to pour the water into um, right now. Actually, I'm gonna go do that. So I will be right back, but I'll bring you so we can see what we're making. Okay, I picked out this bourbon brew and pecan pie puer, which is why I remembered about this tea that I had this sitting over here. Um, this is a blend. Old Barrel Tea Company will often offer teas by themselves, and then they'll actually put together two different teas as blends to um, sell or put into their tea boxes. And this was one from probably last fall. And I actually prefer the pecan pie blended with another tea, such as the bourbon brew. I think it just adds a little bit more flavor and dimension. But, um, so I am steeping this one up right now. And I'm just gonna steep this for five minutes. And I had hoped to have it done before my video so I could sip on it. And I forgot to pour it. So we'll see how long the video takes. 
Okay, we have our tea steeping and we'll continue with our empties. I don't know if you guys noticed um, some of the green behind me, it might be hard to see. I have my little lucky banner and some green goodies. Oh, there's all my teas. <laughs> Uh, because it is now March and so um, it's St. Patrick's Day and that to me means decorating with green. Okay, so we have that pecan pie puer and then I have a pineapple upside down cake, which is an oolong, oolong and honey bush, I think from Old Barrel Tea Company. And this is a super yummy tea. I will definitely repurchase this one. Then I have banana bread puer from Old Barrel Tea Company. This was one of the first teas that I found that I really loved from Old Barrel Tea Company, and I will definitely be buying this one again. I absolutely love that one. Those two are both really, really good. If I had to pick one um, out of those three, I'd say the banana, banana bread pu'er. I kind of miss that one. I haven't had that one in a while, but I'm trying to use up some things. So um, the next empty I have is spiced pumpkin pie from Bird and Blend. And this tea, um, I don't, it went kind of past the expiration and by like a year, <laughs> um, which tea doesn't normally go bad, but this one um, went bad. So maybe I shouldn't have told you that. I think that was in my other video that I'm filming. But anyway, I ended up dumping that one out because something in it, an ingredient went bad and it just did not taste good anymore, unfortunately. Cause it was, that's actually a really, really nice tea from them. Um, my next empty, is David's Tea Pumpkin Creme Brulee. And this was a fun tea, it was tasty, it was fun to have and try, but um, if they offered it again, I probably wouldn't buy it again. Okay, so now I have Christmas Cabin from Old Barrel Tea Company, and this was the smaller size that came in their tea box, uh, the quarterly tea subscription box. And I absolutely love this tea. This is um, a pu'er, did I already say that? And this is one of my favorite teas also from them. I have another container in my pantry <laughs> of that tea right now. The next one is kind of the same deal. This is green chili bizcochito. And this is a tea that was, it was supposed to be just for the holiday season, but last time I was on their website, I saw that it was still on there. So I don't know if it's going to be a permanent tea or if they just still have some, but this is one of my new all-time favorite teas. I absolutely love this tea. Um, it's got green chilies in it and it's um, kind of vanilla sweet. It's not sweet. <laughs> it gives you a reminiscent of that, like kind of um, like a, a Christmas cookie. Um, but it's got that spice from the green chili and I add a little bit of vanilla honey to this and it is so good. I have two more containers, bigger containers. This was the one that came in their tea box. I have two more containers of that because I really, really love it. Okay, this is Cherry Blossom Matcha from David's Tea and I believe they don't offer this one anymore. We've just had it for a little while so I decided instead of holding on to it, it was time to use it up. And so we finished that with some iced lattes and it's a good matcha. So um, if they ever do offer it again, then I recommend it. The next empty I have is Happy Heart from Magic, Magic Hour. And this is a green tea with almond. And I have a large container of this in the pantry. This was the small jar that I ordered to start with. And I really, really like this tea. Okay, there is my tea timer. I'm going to pour my tea. This is the teapot that I use. I use this teapot mm, probably at least three times every day. Uh, at night, I'll use a perfect mug or a Nordic mug from David's Tea. But during the day, I just steep up my tea in here and then pour it into a mug, actually usually one of these David's Tea teacups because um, it's kind of, I find it's the perfect size for me to drink throughout the day. It's not too much. It's um, it helps it cool down quicker if I pour it from the teapot. So since it cools down quicker, I can kind of drink it a little quicker, um, which I like because when I'm in the mood for tea, I want it now. I don't want to have to wait a really long time. Okay. Um, hmm. I actually have a couple teas in here that are full that I decided I'm either going to give to somebody or... All right, I'll get to those. The next one is Coconut Cream Pu'er, and this is from Old Barrel Tea Company. And I did enjoy this tea. I wasn't sure because sometimes I don't like coconut, 
which is why I don't like at least one of the tees in here. But um, this one was nice, but it's not one not all, all purchased. It was just okay to me um, because of the coconut thing. Okay, let's just get these over with. So this one is matcha cream puff from Dessert by Deb. And I liked all the teas from her except for this one. This one was really coconutty and I don't like coconut in tea. I like real, I like coconut, dried coconut in like food, desserts, my oatmeal, um, but I just don't like it in tea. And so what should I do with this, you guys? I don't know if I know anybody in person who wants it. I don't know if it's worth mailing it to someone. I did already open it. Tell me what you think I should do with it. If anybody wants it, let me know in the comments. I don't know. And along the same lines, this is um, rice pudding by The Necessities. And I love all the other teas I have by her. But this one, um, this one is just too coconutty for me. I just didn't like it. So it's a oolong with cinnamon and coconut and nutmeg. And um, I just couldn't, I couldn't drink these. I tried several times iced and hot and I just didn't like them. So I feel bad having teas that I bought and um, that I'm just not gonna drink, but I don't want them sitting in my, my pantry. So um, the kids didn't like it either. So I don't know what to do with them. Okay, so the next empties I have were refills that I dumped into my tin. This is cranberry orange scone, white tea by The Necessities. And this is one of my all time favorite teas. I really love that tea. I have some more bags that I dumped in as a refill. Um, and actually I just finished my tin last night. So now I'm gonna have several more, couple more bags that I'm gonna dump in. <laughs> but these refilled, Lay Digestives, refilled my Mega Tin. Um, this is from David's Tea. There's three bags of it. Um, the Mega Tin holds a lot, but we drink a lot of this tea. The next one I have is Toasted Marshmallow by David's Tea. This was never in a tin, it just had it as a bag. And this one was just okay to me. It was a little on the sweet side for me personally, so I didn't love it, but we we drank it. It was drinkable. <laughs> um, the next one is Bohemian Breakfast from Magic Hour, and you might have already seen another video recently that I really, really, really like this tea. This is a black tea with um, black tea, pu'er, black currant, natural pomegranate flavor, and vanilla bourbon flavor, and this is a really lovely black tea. Okay, so this is Almond Cinnamon Brioche from Dessert by Deb, and this was a sample size that she sent to me, and you get quite a few cups out of these sample sizes. Um, a really nice blend. It's a black tea, and it was cinnamony and almond, just like it says, and it was very good. I've got a sample from The Necessities, Chocolate Orange Truffle, and this was actually really, really good. I like the combination of chocolate and orange. I do think I would like something, maybe like a pu'er base for this, better than the black. Um, because black teas sometimes aren't my favorite, although I have found quite a few black teas lately that I've really been enjoying. Um, but I did enjoy that sample. Um, I just think maybe it would be better with a pu'er base. I'm not sure how that would be or not. Okay, here's a sample size of green chili bizcochito that came in one of my boxes, and I already told you guys I love, love, love that tea. I have a couple tea bags in here. Earl, Earl Grey Cream from Bird and Blend. Um, which is nice. I don't, I haven't tried a ton of different Earl Grey's or Earl Grey creams to be able to know which brands are the best. I know some people have strong opinions about that. That one tasted just fine to me. They kind of all taste very similar to me. Um, maybe because I don't drink them often enough, but I do like an Earl Grey. And so that one was nice. And then I have Honey Chai Turmeric Vitality. Um, and this is a Yogi tea, and that is a nice tea. This is Echinacea Immune Support by Yogi Tea, and that is a nice tea. I have two bags of a brown rice tea, again, Maitcha, um, from Dynasty Tea Bags. This is just from the Asian store. I still have more of those, um, and I like them. This was actually one of my favorite regular matchas, like ceremonial matchas, and I got this teeny tiny little size, and it was delicious. I didn't have like a bitterness or a weird taste. Um, this was, I think it was like a little special that I got with an order one time, um, but the little tin is so cute. It's super like 
small travel size. I don't really ever travel with a tiny amount of matcha, so I don't know what I would use it for. Maybe I could use it for something else though, because I don't want to get rid of this cute little tin. But um, it's organic matcha, and it was delicious. I really highly recommend their, their matcha. All right, the rest of my, and I don't think I need to go through all of these, um, that would take forever, and they kind of made a mess in here. But these are all my little daily teas from my Plum Deluxe calendar. Um, let me see, I think I might have made a couple notes on these. Okay, so I hardly made any notes at all about these teas, and I really should have made more notes. But there were a couple decaf black teas in there, only two, maybe two of them, like such as like this peaches and cream decaf black tea, and um, they were super delicious. And so the calendar that they sent me was just the non-caffeinated teas, and so I didn't really get a chance to try their black teas or pu'ers, but judging off of their decaf black teas, I bet that they are delicious. Um, I look forward to maybe trying those in the future, um, but like I said earlier, 99% of their herbal teas were really, really yummy. Um, we enjoyed them thoroughly. We drank them all just hot and plain, um, like we'd make two or three little pots and have them at dinner. Um, just to see what everybody liked and there were very few that we did not like um, The ones that we did not like were I can't remember the names, but they were the ones that would like be mostly just rooibos um, Because uh, you know, we don't always just like the plain rooibos, but um, if it had uh, other flavors fruits ingredients different things in there um, then they were always good and we really enjoyed enjoyed trying that advent calendar and i would highly recommend it for you for next year because um it's cute you have little reindeer that hang it up and um it was delicious and it's each each package was enough just for like one large mug or we did a small little teapot uh, it's very doable throughout the month and um, we enjoyed that a lot so that is all of my empties for now. Thanks for sticking with me. Look, I made a point to make my tea and I haven't even touched it. It was too hot. But this is the pumpkin, what was it called? Pecan pie bourbon brew. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mmm. I really like this. Okay. So I'm going to drink my tea and edit this video to get it posted for you guys. Leave me a comment below and we'll see you next time. Bye.